I have humbly done well, and they have given me another opportunity to distinguish myself. So I will do my best to redouble my efforts. You, you've done well in your first term, uh, sir. In your second term, are we now going to see yeah, FCT Club playing in the MPFL? Well, we're already at the doorstep now with the uh, EFCC playing the playoffs. So we need your prayers, your support. I think we're at the doorstep and we're going to make it. So the say charity begins at well, as we have said uh, previously, that the ownership of that facility is not with us, and we are limited as to the powers of what we can do. So uh, we would need approval from the higher authorities, the ministerial approval, to do any modification there. We tried in the past, even with the Area 3, but uh, we were not successful. But at the end of the day, we have a new facility in Bwari, so that is a testament that uh, we are smart, we are innovative, we are dynamic. One of our Katna points when we are testing for the Area 5 test, we need to do that Yes, I think we've achieved a lot in grassroots, and that has been the interest, particularly to take development back to the area councils. And I think the area councils are very happy with the success we've recorded. And now they're even, we played the league in various centers, and that is a first. And I think uh, we have kept our promises. Yeah, so what, we we did, well, what should we expect to do your second term? I think football is a continuum, uh, but most important, let's not forget, like I always say, we need to keep the human capital development ongoing, the coaches, the referees, the administrators, we need to keep them trained and retrained, and then we need the facilities, so we need to do more in the facilities to see other area councils getting better uh, playing facilities. And then of course, well, what is football? We need the players to have the opportunities from the grassroots to the top. So we need all the leagues to keep on going, the FA Cup, and other youth and grassroots competition. We need to encourage the stakeholders all over FCT to continue to invest and put their time in football development. So those are the three cardinal things that we must ensure so that football keeps living and breathing. Thank you very much. Thank you.